Let's talk about television. The success of the quiz show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, has caught the attention of a lot of people. Not all of them would be contestants. Advertisers have noticed, and so are producers and executives hoping to hit the jackpot. The game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, finally wraps up its 18-night run tomorrow evening on ABC, and that network couldn't be happier with the results. In the crucial November ratings period, ABC is in position to be number one in the adult category in prime time for the first time in five years. So if you're ready... Millionaire has great ingredients, like a great cake. It's a great recipe. You have Regis Philbin. If you are ready, Everyone likes Regis. To be a you have great dynamic music, a great set great lighting. When you put it all together, it's a mega hit. Welcome. It's a hit formula that other networks are already trying to duplicate. The Fox network is enjoying improved ratings with its own multi-million dollar game show. Theirs is called Greed. And CBS is preparing Survivor for next year. Based on a Swedish program, Survivor will give a million dollars to the contestant who outlasts his rivals on some remote deserted island. In Los Angeles, Michael Schneider is a staff reporter who covers television for Daily Variety. Mr. Schneider, good morning. Good morning, Brian. Can anyone really say in the television industry honestly claim they foresaw the success of Millionaire? Uh, you know, it, it's hard to ever say. Uh, you know, the trends change. Uh, last year it was young teen dramas. All of a sudden, I think the game shows came out of nowhere. Surprised just about everyone. So That's why do you why think, why do you think they came out of nowhere? Uh, you know, if, if you look at the audience composition uh, of Millionaire, for example, young kids are watching, teens are watching, young adults are watching, old people are watching. Uh, you, you just don't have a show that uh, reaches that broad an audience anymore. Yeah, I don't mean to disparage the program, but it is, it is truly unspectacular. Is the formula that simple? Well, you know, it's cheap to produce. Advertisers love it because it's non-controversial. And, uh, you know, it, it somehow has reached a chord with viewers. So, What's a hit game show worth to, to a network's bottom line, Michael? You tell us. Well, it, for example, Millionaire and ABC, depending on what ABC does with Millionaire, it could really turn that network's fortunes around. If they decide to strip it, which is aired every day of the week starting this mid-season, uh, you could see ABC, which has been in the red the past few years, suddenly go into the black. You talked about what a cheap alternative they are in, in relative terms um, mm -hmm. to produce. Who, which, which kind of genre do you see paying the price as network executives look to fill slots with game shows? Are we going to see fewer dramas, fewer sitcoms, fewer reality-based programs? As game shows grow in, in, in importance, what's going to be lessened? I think you'll see as many comedies and dramas as usual, but as those shows fail, instead of relying on reality shows such as the old When Animals Attack and some of those more salacious shows that the networks have relied on the past few years, I think they'll go to more friendly reality type shows like game shows and like uh, CBS's Survivor, which you mentioned in that piece earlier. Mm -hmm. In television, it's always been true that anything worth doing is worth doing to excess. Um, are, are, are we going to see an oversaturation of these things? As they say, the sincerest form of television is imitation and uh, I think you'll see quite a few game shows NBC has a uh, revival of 21 in the works CBS has a revival of the $64,000 question and what's my line in the works so uh, you haven't seen the last of game shows in prime time yeah back in the 50s uh, game shows did well in prime time before scandal brought about their demise do you see anything um, in, in in this run forcing these game shows to fade into obscurity uh, like everything else, as soon as the viewers turn away, especially the younger viewers, uh, the networks will quickly move on to the next hot genre. Hmm. Do you watch? Are you a fan? Uh, you know, it's hard not to uh, watch Millionaire. It's really addictive. You know, <laughs> you, you, you tune in and uh, it, it's, it's uh, in a season where everyone was expecting the big show to be these dramas with young, hot, 20-somethings. The fact that a, a game show featuring every American, you know, your next door neighbor yeah. uh, being the big hit is, is sort of amazing and, and really was unexpected. All right. Mike Schneider. Mike, thanks so very much. Have a good Thanksgiving. Thank you. You too. All right. 35 past. The Alan McBeal character, who's a real cold fish. But Pat LaMama found out the actor who plays him couldn't be more warm-hearted.